Kia Too Technical. I'm back again with another video. As you can see today, I have the Canon EOS 250D, which is the Canon SL3. I did not buy this in the United States. So it's called the 250D. But if you were to purchase it in the United States of America, it would be called the SL3, but it's still the same. So I picked this up on Amazon last week and it just arrived in the mail today so as you can see this is the camera some of the information on the side i don't know how well you can see that here's the front of the box tells you that it's 4k it has a touch screen flip out screen wi-fi and bluetooth dual pixel af so let's get it open i've been wanting a camera for the longest not just since i've been on youtube i've always wanted a dslr camera don't know why probably because i'm a tech person and i've always wanted one here are the instructions that i might not read because youtube that's what youtube is for and this is pretty heavy and then here's another book tells you how to plug it Plug it up and use the uh, battery and everything. Let's open it up here. Okay, as you can see, everything is in the bottom. This is brand new. You get the battery. It came with a 64 gig SD card, but I'll put that away for now. I will order me a bigger SD card later on. Right now, the 64 SD card will be good enough. Because this is my first time ever having a nice DSLR camera. So I have a lot of learning to do. But this says Canon. Next you have the thing, the wall adapter. That you would plug your. Uh, you would plug your battery into this. Like so. Pretty big. Then you have the cable. And see, this is internet. This was an international device. And some people were saying that uh, when you get it, it doesn't come with the American uh, you, cable. But mine's, I don't know if they seen when I ordered it that I was from the United States of America. And they decided to put in the United States cable. But I have a United States cable. And it will plug into here. And then this will plug into the wall. So that's good to know because I was kind of worried about that. Because I was so happy on ordering the camera that I didn't read that until uh, until after I had already purchased the camera. And I was like, I hope it comes with the right cable for me to plug it up to the wall. So here's the kit lens. <laughs> comes with. This is my first lens. I'll have to save up money to get better lenses, but... I'm going to rock out with this lens for a while. This is the 18, 1855 milliliter lens. I don't know how to say it. That's what it looks like there. And that's what the front looks like. But this is a pretty good lens from what I've heard. It's pretty big for a kit lens. But we shall see what it does when I get everything together. Okay, and I have me a Canon strap to strap onto the camera. Let's open that up real quick. And I believe I looked up that this device came out last year, last last April 2019. So this is not a very old camera. It's just like a uh, cheaper well I wouldn't say cheaper because it is around 500 and something dollars it's just a better it's just a more comfortable price camera for a DSLR because usually DSLRs are like a thousand and something dollars and more this one is a little bit cheaper but just because it's cheap does not mean it's not good 
and this is the body of the camera i'm loving the way that looks already i'm pretty hyped y'all because like i said i never had a dslr camera before and the camera flips so when i record i can record this way or i can have the camera facing me and i can record this way and see myself and that was very important of when I was looking up cameras, I said I must have a camera that has a flip out screen and that also has a mic. I don't know how well you could see that, but this has a mic. So I can hook up, I can hook up this, this mic that I picked up to it. So that's a plus. And this has, like I said, Bluetooth, Wi Fi, HDMI. This is how you I would charge it up. Third. This is pretty light. But that could be because I don't have a lens on it. And the uh, battery is not in it. But from the videos that I've seen, this is a nice light camera. The 4K is okay. It's not the 4k people are usually are usually used to because it crops it crops the photo instead of letting you the video instead of letting you see everything it crops it makes everything look squashed up together so i don't know i may do 4k videos on this device i may not it just all depends because i'm not really a 4k kind of person i really don't care about 4k as long as i can have this camera and get crispy photos and videos without 4k i will be okay so this was just a quick unboxing letting you know that i have a dslr and every video from now on when i post a video it will be coming from this canon sl3 so just rate comment and subscribe to this youtube channel i'll catch you in the next one i'm out